We'll do a, a little update. Uh, been extremely busy. Uh, we're in the process of bailing corn stalks, um, plus feeding cows, moving cows home, and all kinds of stuff. So I've been put a video up uh, for a while. So I thought I'd just update everybody uh, what's been going on. I do hope to get some um, actual working videos, uh, bailing corn stalks and raking uh, coming up. But in the meantime, I just uh, thought I'd just uh, let you know we're, what's, what we're doing. Um, first off though, I want to uh, say thank you for all the comments on my last video about how I got started. I uh, usually uh, uh, reply to everybody uh, that comments on my videos because I, uh, I, I enjoy it. So, uh, but I was a little overwhelmed uh, with, with that many comments. So, uh, thank you to everybody who are... Uh, who, uh, uh, left a comment on that video. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Um, and I do read them all. Um, so that's, yep. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, we've been ba uh, bailing corn stalks, moving cows home. Uh, we've got our biggest, biggest pastures are moved home for the winter. Uh, we still got uh, cows out grazing. Uh, but those can mostly walk home. We do have uh, basically a couple of hours on two different pastures to get those cows home, but that's a big deal. So basically our big, big, big groups are home. Um, we have not weaned calves yet. Uh, the weather is super nice. It's like 60 degrees. Uh, no rain, sun shining as you can tell. So we're trying to take advantage of everything. Um, the stalks we had bailed across the road and down the road at another farm where we're hauling north, we got all those home. Uh, my cousin did most of it, or pretty much all of it. Uh, you can see the big, the big stack down there. Uh, so we got those done, but we do have another farm where we started uh, bailing this past week. Uh, so basically, I think he might be coming back this weekend so basically we're gonna have bales to haul forever um, the 4430 is our raking tractor I've not put the hood on it yet I uh, don't have time and mainly I wanted to leave the hood off of it uh, like I mentioned before because uh, I just want to make sure our radiator is not leaking all over and it's so it's easier to see when see stuff when you don't have a hood on it and then plus I wanted to uh, to uh, Look at some of these wires and uh, make sure that they're all uh, in order and then uh, try to get our lights to work, etc. So yeah, we look like a fool's, fool's uh, without a hood on our tractor, but uh, we don't care. Uh, <clears throat> across the road, uh, the part of this farm where we bail, bail a lot of corn stalks, if we can see that. Uh, they uh, start combining that yesterday or yesterday Monday um, they got that pretty much done so we got there's a hundred and some odd acres over there to bale um, and then the other farm we're working on there's plenty of uh, stocks to bale so basically all of our corn stocks that we can bale are pretty much laying on the ground at the moment so that's why uh, really no videos etc uh, I'll, I'll try to get a uh, uh, just a, a regular uh, you know, action video for you guys. Uh, hey, Buster sits out here. As most of you know, we got we got a new jack. Uh, we got to weld a new uh, thingy on because this one is kind of all messed up. We might try to actually maybe beat that around, but you have a new jack, so just parked out here. So it's outside the shop to weld it, weld on it. Um, 966 from the feed wagon as always. Um, the baler, we had a, a, a slip clutch issue with it uh, Monday night. Uh, I just I had I called John Deere and told him to come out and look at it. So they were out here yesterday, Tuesday. Uh, they put two new slip clutch uh, discs in, which go in that big round thing. Uh, it's a simple fix, but I guess I didn't have time to do it this 
parents were uh, busy. I was busy doing other stuff, so. Uh, but I've been able to get in last night uh, for quite a while. Um, got quite a bit done. Uh, we still got uh, stuff that is raked. Uh, the baler is unhooked. Dad has the M. He is um, hauling a couple loads of hay home from uh, from a farm where we have extra, we have uh, hay uh, sitting. <clears throat> um, so it's uh, some hay that we buy. Uh, we haul that home throughout the fall and winter as we actually you know we kind of uh, haul enough home for a period and then when we start running out we we haul some more home and etc so he is going to get a couple loads of that uh, today and then we'll probably be going we need to haul some manure uh, we got manure to haul of course that's a bale break uh, haul home the bale hauling is kind of on there on the last of our projects because um, we can kind of get them done anytime um, so yeah, the weather is beautiful here, so we're trying to, every minute to uh, keep busy. Uh, we've got plenty to do, uh, so we do that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's kind of what's going on. It's, uh, in, we're, we're in full swing of, uh, working. Uh, we got maybe 400 and some odd bales of corn stalks made. Uh, that's, uh, about a third of what we're shooting for. We hope to get, uh, over a thousand and into the 12 or 1500 uh, mark so uh, we will keep on uh, checking along but I'll try to get some videos for you guys uh, uh, not just me standing around uh, talking to you guys I uh, will uh, set this up in the tractor and uh, do some bailing uh, but anyway thanks for watching guys uh, it means a lot uh, comment rate subscribe all fun YouTube stuff as always and uh, we'll catch you guys next time